Uganda is left with one year to migrate to digital broadcasting. But before the December 2012 agreed deadline, a simmering row over the government's decision to accord state broadcaster UBC sole responsibility of digital signal distribution is threatening to derail the rollout plans. We made that policy as government and we gave UBC that transitional monopoly. So the major challenge I can see here is to get other parties to understand the role of UBC as a sole signal distributor instead of attempting to put up parallel systems elsewhere. This decision has met stiff resistance from private broadcasters who are opposed to UBC's monopoly over the airwaves. For UBC to control us and they are competing with us, they'll have to choose one. Either they become infrastructure providers and no content. Their reasons for their position are various, but among them are the credibility concerns facing UBC at the moment and the government's firm hold and control over the state broadcaster. UBC has shown us by track record that they are not that honest. Half of them are already in the police stations, some of them are in jail. As I speak to you, I have already reported these issues to your Prime Minister, and we are going to move to the Parliament. And everywhere. Similar sentiments were also echoed by the chairman of the Presidential Affairs Committee in Parliament, Barnabas Tinkasimire. The other day we heard the Queen. They disappointed us by some very fake things going off when the Queen was addressing us in the Parliament. And if this is the service you are going to give, then you will go to choose and concentrate and give quality. There was a heated exchange of words at the meeting convened by Uganda Communications Commission. It took the effort from the ICT State Minister, Nyombi Tembo, to calm down the broadcasters. Should we detect that UPC does not have the capacity and is going to become a constraint to the transition, definitely will not hesitate to revisit the policy. There has been no mutual agreement made by broadcasters over signal distribution, but as things stand now, UBC is not an option if the private broadcasters are to have their way. Digital TV migration is an international obligation which should be met by all countries by 2015. The migration from analog to digital is aimed at ensuring consistent high-quality service delivery to consumers worldwide. But this change does not come cheap. It carried with it the obligation of having a complete overhaul of equipment for broadcasters still operating in the analog mode. Hilara Yesiga, NTV.